this is Kim with The Painted Cottage, and I am going to show you some of the things that I have picked up lately. So this is going to be stuff that is from Facebook Marketplace, from the flea market, from thrift stores, and even stuff that I've ordered as supplies and things that I need to create. So I'll run through this stuff. Um, I did go over the weekend. I drove away from here because y'all know how terrible the thrift stores are in my area. So I figured I'm going to drive. I'm going to get out of town. I'm going to drive up north a little bit. So I drove up about an hour and a half, two hours away. And I hit, there's a couple flea markets up there that are better than the flea market we have down here. Um, and I hit some thrift stores. And again, just to just get some new stuff, a new area. We went to this town a few weeks ago when my daughter had her band audition, her Allstate band audition. And I told my family, all right, we've got to stop at stuff because I just need to know while we're here, I need to know if this is worth the trip. You know, if I'm going to spend four hours in the car in a day, I need to know if it's worthwhile coming back up here. And I found some decent stuff that time. <laughs> I feel like it was, about, it was about a month ago, three, four weeks ago. And I feel like I picked everything that there was that was good because this trip was not that spectacular. But I did pick up some things. So actually it was kind of funny. So I've never been to the bins before, like the Amazon overflow, like that kind of stuff bins. Um, so we did go there. The kids had a blast just rummaging through the bins. It was really funny. Um, we spent an hour at the bins, which left less time for 15 but that's okay. So, all right, I'm going to get started. Everything's right here because, again, not that much stuff. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you guys know. You guys know I'm so frustrated with the thrifting down here. I cannot wait till my summer trip's up north so I can get some good stuff for you. Um, I, I And I was thinking about it. And literally, like, when I go to a thrift store, and I'm sure you've seen. I'm sure if you're watching my video, you've seen some of these other people who go thrifting. And you see what their thrift stores look like. They're freaking amazing. So here, so, so those videos and the thrift stores up north, I mean, there are aisles and aisles, like aisles and aisles of really good stuff. Like you have to be really selective because you could spend a lot of money and fill up your cart with tons of great stuff. I filled up at the thrift stores up north. There was one time I went on a trip and I filled up like two overflowing carts. I'm pushing and pulling two carts because it is overflowing with awesome stuff. And it doesn't happen down here. But up there, I can always fill a cart at any thrift store I go to. So literally, like I could go to one thrift store up north and the stuff, the good, amazing stuff that I would find up there, it would literally take me 30, 40 trips to a thrift store here to find that stuff. And it wouldn't even be as good. It's, it makes me want to cry. It does make me, it, Really makes me want to cry sometimes. Anyway, but you know what? We're just going to have a positive attitude. We're just going to move on. We're going to do what we can. Do what we can. I go I go on my road trips a couple times a year. Well, once a year. This year, we're going to do it two times. So I'm going to go to a different year. Oh, I can't wait. So excited. Anyway, so, so, and you know what? And I find what I can, and it is what it is. So, okay. So this I ordered. So I need bunnies. My... I am, I think I'm totally sold out of bunnies and birds in my booth. I don't have, I have one, I think here that just didn't make it into the booth because it was full. Um, so I've really like desperate and the owner of the store just keeps saying, you need more bunnies. I'm like, I get it. Do you know where we live? <laughs> so, so I ordered, okay. So I ordered some bunnies on Amazon. I ordered some wood bunny um, cutouts and I have two different packs. They're cute. They're a nice, they're a nice size. They're not huge. They're a nice little shelf sitter size. So I'm gonna be having a lot of fun with these though, because I have I just have so many ideas that I can do with these. Like I'm gonna paint, I can paint them, I can stain them, I can do decoupage on them, I could do paint inlays on them. They're just I could stencil, I like there's so many cute things that I can do with these. So I am excited to get started on these. And these should be pretty quick. And these are stuff that I can have my daughters like here, paint these five light green, paint these five light blue, paint these white, whatever. All right. Um, I also actually at the bins, at the bins, I picked up and I didn't get a great deal on these because it was the $6 day. So, and I knew like this stuff would have been around on the 
one dollar day but we were there on a Saturday and again I'm not doing a four hour round trip just to check out the bins on a Thursday so um so I picked these up but these are really cute these are the the little what do you call these um there are four drawers but they're like the little like little library card holder like those little card holder thingies the little label holders um so I picked up a pack of 40 of these because I figured these would be really cute just you know what I like I could just use these as little embellishments on anything I could make drawers I could use them on drawers I could use them just on signs I whatever they're they're just cute so and then I picked up these as well and these are just really pretty napkins with like this eucalyptus print they're beautiful and I again I hesitate like I know the value is here I actually looked these up on Amazon and these are I think it was like $16 for 50 or something like that and I have 200 here but yeah, like am I gonna go through 200 napkins and decoupage stuff with 200 like oh my gosh I'm running low on my Ooh, I've used up those 200 napkins now this I will die still having eucalyptus print napkins these will be willed to my children. These are gonna last me forever. But that's okay. They're pretty. Six dollars, whatever. This I thought was super cute. I was rummaging for quite a while. Actually, I didn't rummage too much. I was looking at a few things. Um, and we were there for an hour, so I was rummaging for an hour randomly. The kids were the ones digging. Like, they, <laughs> it was really cute. They can't wait to go back. All right, so I did find this. This is super stinking cute. So it is a canvas bag super cute and of course you know you know I love my little French country so look at that this is so cute and this was six dollars and I think this is like twenty nine dollars on Amazon so this might be super cute in the fall like put some fall floral in here and have this just like as decor like this is super cute so I was happy with this find I picked up a bunch of stencils, so I'm doing like lots of spring themed things. So, cause it's spring. Um, I picked up these stencils. It's a bunch of like wildflower. Hang on, let me see if I can, I don't even know if I have a, can you see these? So like, it's just a bunch of like birds and wildflowers and greenery and stuff like that. So I am using these. And it's just all these it's just different oh here's like one with butterflies and okay so I am using these to make like little signs um, and just embellish things along the way <laughs> but I got this cute lemonade stencil so I'll make signs with this stencil and it's just adorable and perfect for summer so there's that and I also, oh, this is another pack of springy stencils. These are a little bit bigger. So that last pack um, of 20, they were smaller. So those would fit really well on like little like four by four signs. And then these are a little bit bigger. So there's nine of these. And again, just random wildflower stencils. This one's cute. So, so yeah, there. this one's really pretty, actually I really like that one. So, um, so again, just stuff for embellishing some of the things that I am making. Oh, that's right, oh my gosh, it's a good thing. My husband, I told my husband, I said, you need to cut me some wood pieces so I can make these little signs. And so he picked up some boards and he's going to make me like, he said he can get like 50 signs out of them, which is perfect because I forgot. Not only do I have the stencils, I ordered some beautiful springy um, rice paper for doing decoupage. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to use. Oh, these are going to be beautiful. So you reach a certain quantity. Sometimes they'll give you, you know, you're, you'll get a percentage off. You'll get your quantity discounts. These are just gorgeous. So you'll get quantity discounts and um, sometimes free shipping. So I figured might as well stock up. They're gorgeous and I can get a nice variety. And these, I mean, these are not going to, again, 
these might be in my will. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, I have a little bit of a collection of scrapbook paper and decoupage rice paper. So these are gorgeous and I really, I totally, like as my husband was telling me, I can cut 50 pieces of 50 little signs for you. Totally forgot I had all these gorgeous images. Oh my gosh. It's going to be so fun. I have so many amazing things coming into the shop. I got some transfers. I love the Magnolia transfers. They're so gorgeous. Look at those. So, and they have, oh, it's going to be so fun. I forget what I was going to use these on. I actually hadn't, I was going to, I had thought. And then I ordered these like two weeks ago. I don't know. I'll use them. I just don't remember what I was originally going to use them for. And then I got these transfers. And these are cool. A big variety in there. I love transfers. I hope you love transfers too because I have so many transfers. All right. And then I got this one too. So this one is really cute. It's just, it's just, um, text, like handwritten text is super pretty. And so what I like to do with something like this, and I've done it with a, just a spring sign I just recently made. I'll show you a picture of that. Um, but I really like to have just text and kind of the backdrop of then whatever else is on there. So I made these little signs that have their pinks. So, so springy. They're so, so cute. Um, it's pink and I put then the, a text stencil on it and then I put a greenery stencil on it and I put a little bunny cut out. So cute. So I like doing things like that. I really like to layer. So the more I can layer, it's just the more interest that's in my design so a little uh one other this is a little bit bigger one so this i mean just look at how how could i not buy this it's so be like i want to live in this in this rice paper i want to live inside here with the daisies and the beautiful flowers and the oh my gosh this is like dreamy picked up some Stamps. So I do like stamps. I don't use these a lot, uh, but I like to collect art supplies <laughs> and craft supplies. So, okay. So again, so this is a stamp. And again, just as a backdrop of anything that I might want to make, this will be that pretty layer. And, and then this I thought was cute. So oh, another, again, this would again be like a backdrop. And then like, how cute would this be? Or this, like stamped onto a sign and then have like pretty floral transfers with all their colors and their beauty, like on top of it. So, and then I picked this up, which I was just thinking about something I could use these for. So I have been wanting like their letter, is this the letter press? Yeah, this is the letter press one. So there's three different styles. Um, I've been wanting this for a long time, but then, I mean, these are expensive. Stuff isn't cheap. So I've been holding off and they've been in my cart for a while and they go in and out of stock. <laughs> so I finally decided I'm just going to get them. And then these are the sheets that you use. They help you place the stamps better. So I've used, I've never had these before, um, but they help, they have the grid lines and they just help you line up. Um, your stamps, which I have never used them before, but if I want to use stamps more, I figure that that might come in handy. All right. I picked up, so here's some items now, like the non-Amazon and Etsy things that I bought. So I picked this up. It's a little watering can. This is going to get a paint job. But I don't want the ridges of those stickers to show, but what would look super, super cute is if I had like a little, um, canvas, if I did a little canvas patch and then did a stamp on that or a transfer on that and then covered that up. That's what I'm going to do. And it's going to be lovely. All right. Birds. No, we're going to get this out of the way first before it falls down. So I picked this up. Just, it's a vintage frame. And what I figure I'll do is paint the frame and then do the transfer in the glass. Those are, they turn out beautiful and they sell really quickly because they're just so, they're just pretty. They're unique. And I really like, I've done it in rectangular frames before, but this is the first time I've had an oval frame. So I'm going to do it in that. Uh, I think that'll look, look lovely. All right. This, um, this was a cool find. So I picked this up. This was at the flea market. Actually, that this was from the same lady. So 
I picked up a bunch of things from this one lady and she, I actually can't wait to go sift through her junk again. It was a gloomy, drizzly, misty day. So I knew that the flea market, I knew people would be at the flea market, but I knew it was going to be a super busy day at the flea market. And I figured a lot of vendors wouldn't probably show up because it was supposed to, it's a hundred percent chance of rain. And by the time I got up there, it was actually like, it was dry. It didn't, it was cold and it had like that wet chill in the air, but it wasn't raining until a little bit later in the day. Um, but I just figured it's probably on a nice sunny warm day. You're going to have a lot more vendors, a lot more cool things. So, um, but she had a booth, um, where she, there's like tables that she had set up on across from her room. And then her room was shoved full of stuff. And so I did pick through a little bit and I got a bunch of pots, which again, perfect for spring. Um, but she had a lot of stuff in there that I couldn't even reach. So I am looking forward to going back and checking out her stuff. So I did pick up this vintage spool. Really like this. This is adorable. So I got that from her. I got the frame and then I picked up a bunch of what else? I think it was just all of this stuff. So, oh, a little, I got a bird. I got a green bird. I've had these before. They're little like votive holders. And I've had these before in like the fun, like bright spring colors. So, and I need birds. Some, just some little pots. So these will be perfect for putting like flower sprigs or I could paint them and put transfers on them or stencils on them or whatever. But I, and I really like the shape of this. Like, look at how cute that is. All right. And then she had a little like the olive basket style and it is a little crusty. I love it. See how it's a little crusty. This is so cute. Now her prices were, they were okay. They weren't phenomenal, but decent enough where I, I liked them. So got these little chicken wire basket pots. So those will be cute. Um, I picked up this from her, which is per, I mean, it's such a pretty spring color. And okay, there's those guys. And then, oh, here's another one of the olive basket styles. And again, look at that little bit of, little bit of, hang on, this one's like a little, little bit of crusty. It's so pretty. <laughs> I'm just loving it. Okay. And then this is so, this is a beautiful little filthy pot. I will clean that up and get the dirt off of it. But just look at the, like just the aged look in that. It's amazing. I really like that one. And then I picked this one up and I like this because it's just chippy. It's so cute. I did pick up, so that was from her. And I think that was all the stuff I got from her. Um, and I ended up at a thrift store at one of the thrift stores up there. I picked up this. So this is super cute, really pretty little greenery. And let me see if it even fits in any of the, well, that one is there. Look at how cute. It's perfect. All right. Okay. What else we got? I really, like, these are perfect for like spring, summer. Oh my gosh. So perfect. I was really happy to find all these little pots. And then I picked up some birds on Facebook Marketplace. So, and I needed these because I, I am totally out of birds. Totally out. So these, they're pretty. They're, they're, they're bright, but they're also, you know, they kind of have that aged, distressed look as well. So these are beautiful. And I love these, the size on these guys. Um, and then I have a little bit tinier one here. So, but I mean, perfect spring, summer colors. They're bright, but they're beautiful. I, I love, love this style of bird. So I was really happy to find these. Then I picked, this was at a thrift store and it didn't have a price on it. So luckily they gave it. So I went up and typically, oh gosh, I'm so... So the pricing down here at thrift stores is also a little bit high compared to where I am from up north. Um, typically candle holders, like say like this one, typically candle holders like this, I will find these all the time for like $3.99, $4.99. And that's just, I'm not going to pay that. Um, for the amount of work I have to put into this, it's just not worth it in the end. So 
This one was $1.99, that's reasonable. Um, I love the pattern on it. I think that's a really pretty design that will distress nicely. So I will paint this, distress it, like wet distress it back to show those raised areas. And this will be really, really beautiful. So I was happy with this and content with the, um, the $1.99 price tag on this. And then this guy is just a gorgeous color. Gorgeous color. That aqua pretty, like you can see against the white. <laughs> Look at how pretty that is. So this, um, I had a couple of these that were like similar, like similar glass um, and this aqua color. And I put floral stems in them and they were so pretty. So I did pick this up and I went up and I asked. And I was expecting, honestly, I was expecting like $1.99, maybe 99 cents if I was lucky. She's like, oh, that's 59 cents. Sold. All right. Then I picked up some bunnies. So I got some bunnies. And these are really, really cute. I got a couple of these guys. Look at how stinking cute they are. I love just love it. It's distressed, aged, mossy, a little bunny. And I got this guy. Look at how cute. They were so cute. All right. Picked those up. Two of each of those. And then I got these guys. And these are cute. Those are little bunnies. Super cute. Super cute. And then I got some some of these. I got two of these guys. And love this one. And I got three. Oh, look at that. Look at this little. I got three of those. So happy with those. And then, oh, and then I got this guy at a thrift store, I think. I don't think I got this at a thrift store. And this was a dollar eighty-nine. A bunny. And then some more. Some more bunnies. So then. I can stack a lot of bunnies on this guy. So I thought that was just a good find because it'll be, it'll come in very handy and look cute in the booth for display. Then I went to a local antique mall and there was a booth that was selling these. And I like these because these are a big size. So like, look, like that's a nice size and it's cute. So I'm gonna paint these. If you saw, I'll post a picture of this too. Um, there was a bunny that I bought and I repainted it and it turned out so beautiful and I had a lot of people wanted it so that it sold right away and I had a bunch of people who wanted that bunny, but, um, he went fast. So I'm going to paint these. I got two of these. I'm going to paint these up in that same color and that same style, um, that the original one was. So at one of the flea marks, oh my gosh, the children were in heaven. One flea mark, and I wanted to scoop them all up. There were several litters of puppies for sale. And I felt bad for them because you know, you just know. They're like, it's iffy if they were dewormed, had any shots at all. Um, like the care for these poor puppies. I just, I wanted to take them all home and just give them a good home. But I can't, I can't do that. I don't have the land. I don't have the money for the vet bills. <laughs> oh my gosh, the three I have right now are so expensive because they're big dogs and so they cost extra. Extra, because you know, ooh, here's the medicine for the 80 pound dogs. Here's the, here's the crate for the 80 pound dogs. So yeah, so adore it. So we, oh my gosh, they were so beautiful. I'll post a picture of the one that I took a picture of. But the first litter we saw, oh my gosh, they were so cute. They were Shepherd Husky Lab Mixes, and they were all black, and some of them had like a little white stripe on the chest, but they all had one brown eye and one blue eye, and they were striking. They were so gorgeous, and the girls wanted it. They're like, Husky Shepherd, Mom, Husky Shepherd. I'm like, I get it. I get it. Um, we saw Chihuahuas, which are not our style. We need the big dogs. Um, then we saw, which, okay, these were really tempting. These were really tempting. It was a Belgian Shepherd, Australian Shepherd mix. And they were gorgeous. They were beautiful. And they're not, see, we like the big dogs. We don't like the little, little dogs. But this thing, like the parents were only like 40 pounds each, 30, 40 pounds each. So this would have been like a nice size that wouldn't, 
destroy the house and the yard like the 80 pounders do. Um, it was adorable. I'm going to show you a picture of that guy because, oh, she was so cute. Is she? That was tempting. And I think if we wouldn't be going on some trips coming up, she may have ended up in our van. She may have ended up in our van. She may have come home with us. She was so cute. All right. So at that same flea market, I found this. Like, this is just cool. It was a guy and he's like, this is all my grandpa's stuff. And we're just clearing his stuff out. He's got so much stuff. Just make me an offer, blah, blah, blah. So I picked this up because this is just cool. Like, what a great little centerpiece on a table on an outdoor table uh in the garden like what a cool decoration so i really loved that and then i had to pick this up because i love old wheels and you don't find them a lot and if you do find them they're super expensive so i did pick this guy up and it's not a huge one but it's it, again cute little like outdoor garden decor it's just I really like it it's super heavy so of course the girls are like I'll carry this one and you can carry this one so that's how that worked out that's my haul and I hope you enjoy this video and I will show you what I do with some of this stuff when I refinish it or just display it um, and everything is just going to be super cute and thanks for joining me.